it's time for another update and I'm going to do something a bit different. We're going to walk down the whole of the prisoner's walk pretty much today from one of the earlier 13th century gates up here uh, and then we'll go past uh, our spoil heap which I'd just like to remind everyone has been entirely dug out with one of these this time. It's a bit unusual that we um, don't have sort of matting shoveling to start with but because of the um, the abundance of fines basically um, we had to do everything um, with a trowel this time. Fortunately it doesn't all have to go back in with trowels so we'll go under another 13th century arch here. Everything's much sort of altered at this point because of the former town prison that was built over the, the top of this section in the 18th century past all the rubble that we've taken out of um, the pit and then now we're in um, what we think is a slightly later 13th century gatehouse um, with this arch in front of us and um, the beam up there that might might be something to do with a uh, a, a door, a, a 13th century door, and a couple of um, holes in the side walls here where perhaps there was uh, a beam across um, uh, behind the door. And then we get down into what's been our main focus of interest, down into what we think is uh, the drawbridge pit. And I'm going to try and um, get down the ladder without dropping the camera but the camera will move around a bit for a few seconds while I get down here into the pit which is now um, best part of three meters deep and I'm quite pleased that we have more or less well we have very much reached the bottom because down on the bottom here we're on bedrock now um, across the whole of uh, the span of the trench here. Um, I'm pretty sure that this section at the bottom here has been, um, it's been modified by human hand. Uh, the bedrock is sort of well and truly natural here uh, and then this bit uh, and against the edges here has perhaps been enhanced a bit um, and it's flattened out at the bottom here. Um, we didn't get uh, any sort of particularly spectacular finds right down at the bottom, although we did get some more wood and leather material very unexpectedly because if you look back at the section here you can see it's actually pretty much waterlogged down here and in fact there's even bits of um, grass or um, some other vegetation in the deposit down there. So some unexpected finds in that. Um, now, if we start going up a bit, um, on each side we've got these slots, and on that side um, what we think is one end of a pivot for a drawbridge, that circular, roughly circular area up there. Unfortunately, on this side the slot goes up, um, it's been blocked up up there, and then it's destroyed by the post Second World War telephone cables uh, that got put in up to the bunker in the citadel. So we can't see the equivalent of that um, pivot hole that we get on that side. And what we think our sort of working hypothesis is that um, there was a pivot drawbridge. And if I look back this way, looking back up to the the gatehouse, um, it was pivoted so a sort of shorter end of the drawbridge would swing, uh, let me get, I have to get this right, so if you imagine a drawbridge here on top of the pivot and then it swings down, swings down in front of the wall there and comes to a stop against perhaps some beams uh, coming across between these two slots and the top of the drawbridge would then be um, forming a fairly sort of decent seal up against the uh, the arch up there and you can see that slot in the projecting stones 
um, which may have been something to do with um, the pulley mechanism uh, on, the, on the other end of the drawbridge. Uh, hopefully we'll get uh, someone at work uh, to, to do a fancy graphic reconstruction of this at some point and we can then sort of explain how it all works. Um, everything that we see uh, or most of what we can see in front of us that we've dug through uh, has been put in here I think in, in a very short period of time. Um, everything from the waterlogged soil and rubbish down at the bottom all the way up to uh, that rubble there. I think I mentioned this in an earlier video. Um, I'm pretty sure almost all of that has come in as a deliberate infill of the um, uh, of the drawbridge pit. So clearly it wasn't in use anymore um, as a pit by then and it was decided to fill it up presumably um, because the castle was being expanded uh, to the north and these huge enormous walls towering above us here and the Barbican at the end was uh, was being constructed so this, there was no need for the um, um, for the pit here anymore um, and that's that's about it really we're now tidying up um, cleaning up the sides so we can photograph them record them um, that's going to take us a few days and uh, then we will probably start to, to fill the site in either later next week um, or perhaps uh, leave it open till just after Easter. But I'll, um, if there are more thoughts come to us about how all this works, I'll post them on here as well.